Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alcar Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next Legacy Evolution review. Today I'm looking at Armada Universe Hotshot and this is a really good update on the figure. Um, there is a bit of hollowness here and there, but it's not oh, too bad, but still a really good update on the figure. So much more articulation than the original. Um, I never had the Generations or the Universe um, one. I didn't, yeah, that, that other release, I didn't have that one. So, but definitely got this one. Excellent update. Let us take a look at our packaging. And of course, our Legacy Evolution packaging he is a deluxe. Armada Universe Hotshot. There is Vehicle Mode, Transformers Generations, Takar Tomi. On this side, Robot Mode, up close of his face. On this side, our artwork. Again, looks very good. On the top, there is that QR code. On the bottom, we have our barcode, along with other words and stuff. And on the back, our product shots, along with the warning, small parts, please don't eat anything in here. And there is our Evo Fusion. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, get that out of the way. And we will take a look at Hotshot. And he is like a kind of a sports car. And it's not bad. I do like, like, the way they did the transformation for this, it works. Um, it is unfortunate that the yellow here doesn't match very well with the rest of the yellow. But it is, you know, I mean, it's not too off-putting. Got his engine here. Uh, translucent blue plastic and it's the whole piece is translucent blue so that's why this yellow is a different color well, not too bad on the wheels big old bumper done all in black got some silver here headlights and for the middle there it's autobot symbol right there and i do love that there is a minicon port so if we do end up seeing his minicon be released, there is a place for it to plug on. So I am hoping we see like minicons get released for the Armada Universe characters that we're we have gotten and that we are getting. Because we are getting the Commander Class Optimus, we are getting Megatron. Um, not sure who else we're getting, but would love to see them have their minicons as well. But there's the back. Would have been nice to have. Oh, sorry. Tail lights picked out in color, but it's all right. There's this side, the front. Got a little black bit here. Looks pretty good. He does roll. Although I don't know why that tire is not wanting to roll. But it does. It does roll. I think it's just something is i think it gets stuck and you put a little weight on it but it does roll very nicely so not too bad at all i said definitely a really good update and he only came with one weapon and that's what is his engine here and we can pull this out it does like to really hold in there very well come on come on There we go. So yeah, those two pegs. It holds in very well. But here is what is essentially his weapon. Done. Can't tell if it's done in red then painted. Which I think. Which isn't bad. But I like they got black here. Then the detail on it all. Just really, really cool. I mean, it'll look like a gun. Then it looks like... A super like it, it meant to supercharge the vehicle so really like that um, 
an upgrade kit I'm kind of hoping we see, or I'm sure somebody would probably 3D print it, but like wouldn't mind a piece that would slide over these and give us one peg like in the middle. So when he holds it, it's a little straighter on, but for right now, it's not bad. So I think we will get to transformation. Yes. So let me raise you up and see what I'm doing. So what we're going to want to do is untab and bring out the doors all the way just like that do that on both sides there we go and it's this tab here tabs in right there and then they just fold completely over now we want to untab all of this and that is going to help us to bring apart the legs so we want to untab the roof of the vehicle which does hold in very well oh holy jeez there we go okay don't pull on it so kind of just it slides down so when you're going transforming it so, so let's put all this sort of back together but it slides down and then you want to push it push this one down while pulling this one up and that's going to help separate them so much easier now what we can do is rotate all this down and there's a little tab right here that's going to tab in to here just like that and then we want to fold this bit in bring it down and around like this it just sort of sits like that. Now we want to rotate the toe out, untab it from in here, and that'll give us a bit more movement. Same thing on this side. So rotate it all out till it tabs in right in there. Rotate it here. Push that piece in. Bring it and swing it around. We're sitting about like that. And then bring out the toe and sort of untab it so we can get a little bit of that ankle pivot. And we'll rotate at the waist. And there's that. Now we can rotate the arms so the fists are facing forward. Then bring this out and down. Sort of like this for the moment. What we want to do is we want to bring these up like this for now. Then these just sort of sit in. It's not like a full tab in, but they just sort of sit in. Before we do anything else, bring this up, rotate the head up. And now these, there's little tabs right here. That'll go into slots right there. So get them just like that. Just like that. And that is going to complete the look and also help hold this in a little more too. And there we have Armada Hotshot in his robot mode. And he looks good. I do like him. I think it is a much better take on the mold than we've had previously um for gaps that i was talking about this like this is an issue but i'm sure we will see something soon that'll uh help fill that all in i don't doubt that but yeah not bad at all so let us take a look at his head and very hot shot head looks really good looks like that youthful hot shot that we all know and well from armada nice uh paint on the chest although some of the red is bleeding through on mine that could have used another touch of silver on this but it's not horrible i've seen worse and the arms look good all that red going down the thighs and then his lower feet it still looks really good I do like it. Uh, articulation, the head, I think it is on a ball joint. It can rotate 
all the way. Yeah, it is on a ball joint, but it's a very tight ball joint. Uh, don't really get much for up and down or wiggle. Arms come out that far. Can do full 360, but you got to move these out of the way. And it does hit the backpack, but you can get a full 360. Bring this back down. Plug that in. We do have bicep swivel. We have 90 for the elbow. Nothing at the wrist. We do have waist rotation. Legs kick forward that far. Kick back that far. Full Van Dam. We have thigh. And you want to kind of hold it, but the knee is under 90. Yeah, you want to kind of hold it there because that's the knee. And the feet, you can move the toe up and down. And then we've got that much ankle pivot. So quite a bit. Quite a bit. Get him back into a standing position here. And he can hold his gun, and you can do either post, but he can hold it. And you kind of see how off it looks. Like you can hold it there or there, and it just looks kind of off. But then also, what we can do. rotate this piece up then rotate it uh, I think rotate it I suppose it doesn't matter but rotate it this way and also want to bring this down and there is the extra weapon mode he had in Armada when um, I'm forgetting what the um, minicon that was with him was named i it's been so long but when it attached kind of to his butt and it brought out the weapon which i don't know how they're going to do that if we do get any mini cons i said i would really love to see mini cons but there's that extra weapon and then of course this comes down with the little readout and that is a translucent blue with some sort of gunmetal gray painted on it but still not bad at all not bad, but yeah. Um, these are popping in, up in some stores. Um, most of my stores mainly have Legacy still. I've not seen much for Legacy Evolution in my stores. Uh, hoping we'll see more soon. I've been getting my stuff online. Um, I got this from Amazon. Uh, they are up at Big Bad Toy Store, Hasbro Pulse, um tf source i think but yeah all those places they do have them so you can find them online if you can't find it in a physical store and definitely think it is worth uh worth getting i mean it is a great update um some of the hot uh armada universe characters i do like their designs and it is nice getting more updated uh versions of their designs where they are more articulated and look better i'm really looking forward to the uh armada universe optimus commander class that we're going to be getting like he looks really good like i think perfect in my opinion and i'm i can't wait to see product shots of uh armada megatron so i do hope we get a few more armada and cybertron figures not really too caring too much about energon personally i mean there isn't really much in that line that I would care about seeing just because so many of the designs were just so horrible but Armada wasn't bad Cybertron definitely better but there is Armada Universe Hotshot if you're looking for them like I said check online all over the place online so that is going to be it for me. I hope you got some good information out of this. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. It's been a bit since I've done a Legacy uh, Evolution figure. So there we go. So that is all for me. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.